The word of God says someday we will stand before the Lord yes. and we long to hear these words, mm. is his or her, is her name written? Yeah. Now we know that that will happen someday after the rapture and after the second right. coming. But today I'm going to show you by the word of God and by prophecy that this week God is actually opening up a Whew. book called the book of life wow. or the book of blessing. Wow. And through that, he's going to determine the whole mm. next year. Stay with us. Your life is about to change. I hope I got your attention when I did that opening. You know, the, the, the greatest thing is when the Lord comes, when the Messiah comes, when he returns, that we stand before him yeah. and our name is written in the Lamb's yes. book of life. Mm. I mean, that's, that's what, yeah. th there's nothing else that matters compared mm. to that. But th at the same time, uh, we're going to be rewarded yes. according to what we did Absolutely. or didn't do. Yeah. Not everybody's going to have the same reward in heaven. Everybody right. knows that. And that's why the Bible says we're saved by grace. Right. There's nothing Absolutely. we can do to earn our salvation. Nothing. Yeah. We're saved by grace through Jesus, Amen. through Yeshua HaMashiach, our Messiah. Yeah. But then the scripture says, work out your salvation yeah with fear and trembling. So right. how can we be saved by grace, but then it says work out our salvation? Well, because we think the word salvation means heaven or hell, right. when in the reality, the word salvation in Hebrew means means your victory, your, your mm. miracle, your mm. blessing. Yeah. And so we have to sow a seed to get a harvest. Right. If we want kindness, we show kindness. Yeah. We're, we're to be the light of the world. Yes. And so someday in eternity, we'll, we'll go into heaven, but then we'll be rewarded yeah. for what we did yeah. or we didn't do. Yeah. And, and that will be it. It'll be all over. But until then, God gives us these Moedims, mm. these appointed times, yeah. and I can't wait to teach us because we're right now in the time that in the Bible they yeah. call Rosh Hashanah wow. or the Feast of Trumpets. Yeah. And this is the time in which for 30 days during the month of Elul, we have been, we, we do this in a house, we do this at the church, yes. so I hope you're doing it. Yeah. We blow the trumpet mm -hmm. in Zion, sound the alarm. Why? Because God wanted every one of his children to know yeah. Rosh Hashanah or the Feast of Trumpets mm. is on its way. Well, yes. it's coming this week and he opens up the book of life yeah. or the book of blessing, it's better said. And this is exactly what Moses is talking about. Now, there's no way I can teach all of this. That's why you got to get the books and get mm. the tapes. But when, when Moses came down from Mount, the mountain with the Ten Commandments right. and the children of Israel had built the golden calf, they, they backslid, they fell away from Ooh. God. Moses threw the tablets down and they broke. Yeah. Then God says, rewrite the tablets with your own hand. Mm. And Moses went back up on the mountain for 40 days. Right. The day he went back, the day he started the journey to ascend back up the mountain mm -hmm. was the first day of what's called the month of Elul of the blowing of the shofar. Right. While Moses is up there, he's asking God to forgive Israel and to bless them as a people. Yeah. And Moses says something, and every Christian has read it or heard it preached, but they don't understand what it means. Moses says, if you're going to erase their name mm. from the book of life, right. erase my name too. Now, I'm sure Moses loved all the children of Israel. Yeah. But when he said, if you're going to erase their name from the book of life, erase my name too, he wasn't saying... I don't want, if you're not going to let them go to heaven, I don't want to go to heaven. Mm -hmm. What he's talking about is every year mm. 
at the time of Rosh Hashanah wow. till the time of Yom Kippur, which we're at right now yeah. on God's calendar, God opens the book yeah. and sees what kind of goodness right. we have brought into the world to tikkun olam. Yeah, yeah. And he says, if for everything good that we've done to make the world a better, better place, place, to serve God, yeah. to pray, to bring our first fruits, to help the widows and the orphans, we'll be rewarded. Mm. And so for 30 days, yeah. he's been blowing the trumpet saying, if you don't have any, now we're not talking about salvation, exactly. we're talking about blessing. Yeah. We're talking about the blessing of God, working out, doing what we have to do to reap a harvest yeah. into our lives. And Moses says, I, Lord, I know, I know they haven't done good, I know they did bad. If you're gonna erase their blessing, erase my blessing, not for eternity, but for one wow. whole year, this is what the Bible is talking about yes. when he says these holy days or a shadow of things to come. Yes. Someday, God will open the book and it will be for eternity. Yeah. But until that day, Rosh Hashanah is a shadow of what God's gonna yeah. do in eternity. And you know, I think, Larry, a lot of people hear that term. You know, we just kind of- A shadow? Past it. Yeah, a yeah. shadow of things to come. But take a minute and explain, what does that really mean? I think that can be confusing for people. Well, I, yeah, I think you're right. I think a lot of people here, when they hear it's a shadow of things to come, then they hear about the feasts uh, uh, of the Lord, they're a shadow that they're a substitute for what's really going to happen. Hmm. If, I don't know if you can see on camera, but with all the TV lights, if you can see back there the shadow, that shadow is not the shadow of a different hand, that's the shadow of my hand. Yeah. The feast of the Lord or a shadow of the real mm. thing, what really happens right. until that real thing comes. comes. And let me give you an example. Mm. Now listen to this. On, in the month of Nisan is the time in Hebrew of Passover, where they would bring a lamb and sacrifice that lamb for atonement. Yeah. Until Jesus came, that Passover lamb did forgive the children of right. Israel their sin. Right. Once Jesus came, that, that Passover lamb was a shadow of the real lamb. Yeah. On the time of Passover, on the exact moment of Passover, when they were sacrificing the lamb in the temple, Jesus was dying on the cross of Calvary mm. and we moved immediately right. from the shadow to the real thing. Wow. Not mm. on some other awesome. day, not on 30 days before, 30 yeah. on the exact day. Right. Three days later, Jesus rose again. Yeah. That's the exact day of the first fruits offering. Wow. So it happened exactly on Passover. Jesus was the Lamb of wow. God. It happened exactly on the first fruit yeah. where Jesus was resurrected. Mm. And then you go into Pentecost, which is Shavuot. Shavuot is the time in which God gave the Torah to Moses, right. to Israel, to the world. Yeah. On that exact day that God gave the word of God, on that exact day, when the day of Pentecost had fully come, Goodness. the shadow was no longer a shadow, the real thing came yeah. and God gave us wisdom and knowledge right. and understanding and he would lead us and guide us, not 10 days before or three days mm. after, on that exact day. Right. So Nissan was a shadow, First Fruits was a shadow, Pentecost or Shavuot was a shadow, but then the shadow was erased by the real thing. But until the real thing happened, yeah. until the real thing came, exactly what was supposed to happen right. would happen for one whole year. Right, right. Now we have Rosh Hashanah. What's gonna happen is there's gonna be a rapture. Yeah. Then there's gonna be a second coming. Yeah. And then there's gonna be the wedding supper of the lamb. Now listen Ooh. to this. Rosh Hashanah is symbolic of the rapture. It's symbolic of when the moment you and I are raptured, there's gonna be no more sickness, there's mm. gonna be no more disease, My there's goodness. gonna be no more poverty. Rosh Hashanah, is a shadow. If you understand this, until the real thing happens, come Rosh Hashanah, God will open the book and see is your name written mm. of doing what is righteous in tikkun olam, wow. making the world a better place, yes. helping yes. us, 
to build those schools in Israel, yeah. helping us to take care of the Holocaust survivors, helping us with yeah. the two orphanages we have in Haiti, helping us with the has hospital we have in, in Haifa. Yeah. If you're, is the world a better, better place, place today yeah. than it was yesterday mm. because of us. If it is, then our name is written. And yeah. that's why for 30 days, we've been blowing the shofar. Yeah. But watch this. When God, now that we're in the time of Rosh Hashanah and maybe you're watching and you say, well, I haven't done anything. Mm. You're, you're right. I haven't been serving God. I haven't been living for God. I haven't been tikkun olam, making the world a better place. Yeah. Now God gives us 10 more days wow. where we blow the shofar a hundred mm. times a day because God is saying, I want you to be a part of yes. this. Don't miss this. Yes. Don't let this date pass you by. Yes. This happens, Tiz, every single mm. year where God opens the book yeah. and he seals our blessing for one yeah. whole year. But this year's different. This year is a Shemitah year. This year is Come a on. Jubilee year. Yeah. This year is the last of the four blood moons that yeah. we're going to be in Israel, in Israel. giving yeah. you, your offering mm. in your behalf. This Ooh. is the this is the birthing yes. of everything you've been waiting yeah. for mm. in the name of Jesus. Mm. I believe this is the beginning of the bride of Christ yeah. being that glorious Amen. bride without yeah. spot or without wrinkle. Yes. In ancient Hebrew, there's no word for There's no word for quint. It's not a coincidence yeah. that you're watching right now. Yeah. God wants you in on this blessing. Mm. We'll be right back.